Yasas Kalasoriso to Dave's Tiny Kitchen. Ha! Today I'm going to be making Stefado, which is a Greek beef stew, and it should be absolutely awesome. I've been to Greece probably, I don't know, 10, 10 to a dozen times. And um, I love it there, absolutely love it. It's a fantastic place. If you ever get the chance to go, go. Anyway, cracking on. It's hot in Dave's tiny kitchen. Put the hat on, we've got to do it. You can't bear it then. We've got some cloves, cinnamon stick, black peppercorns, bay leaf, tomato puree paste, tomato paste, um, that's going to be one one large tomato or three smallies chopped up um, <clears throat> a couple of allspice allspice berries some rosemary and some nutmeg and the meat I'll be using is a lean top side of beef cut into at least one inch sized cubes along with one uh, chopped diced onion, a dozen peeled shallots but left whole, four cloves of garlic sliced finely, one vegetable stock cube, two tablespoons of uh, vinegar, any type you like, that's red wine vinegar, some salt, and a glass of red wine. Okay, step one, we've got a big, this is a cast iron um, enameled casserole dish. Chuck in some olive oil. We're gonna seal the beef. I'm not gonna chuck it all in at once because you'll end up stewing the beef and not sealing it, so nice and hot, I do. That's all our beef sealed. The uh, next step is to chuck in the chopped onion and the four cloves of garlic which have been finely sliced. That's that in. We leave that and we stir it around um, for about five minutes until the onion starts to soften. Okay, five minutes have gone. Um, the onion and the garlic have softened now. Meat's absolutely fine. Next step is to chuck, chuck in the um, two tablespoons of vinegar and the glass, rather a large glass, of red wine. Or white wine, which any wine, but wine. We leave that on the heat for another five minutes. the lid on. Okay that's been going for five minutes. Remove our lid. <coughs> Next thing go the dry herbs that you saw earlier and the stock cube, vegetable stock cube. Just crumble that in as well. Give that a little bit of a stick. Bit of a stir. Just 
two tablespoons of tomato puree. So one, two. Little mix. It's starting to smell really nice. Really nice. Then our really large tomato, or three small tomatoes. I think a little bit more puree. Some pepper, maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt, a good grind of black pepper. Okay, we're back. The casserole is in the oven on 150. Um, we'll leave that in there now, um, cooking away merrily for a bit. In the meantime, we add the dozen peeled shallots into this pan, hot pan, hot ish pan, and basically we just Stir these around whole as they are. Um, may look strange, but I can promise you they'll be gorgeous. Don't forget this is a long slow cooked dish. It'll be another couple of hours when it's all, once it's all assembled in the oven. It'll be at least a couple of hours, and that beef will be melt in your mouth. Um, so we just we fry these now for five minutes or so until they're just um, coloured, just a bit of colour on them. We're not cooking them all the way through. We're just colouring them as best we can all over. Okay, that's our stufado out of the oven. These are our shallots, or shallots. Um, just fried until they've just got a bit of uh, colour on them. And they go into the casserole without the oil, just the, just the onions. We don't want the oil. or what smells lush really nice we top that up with a bit of boiled water pull the kettle we'll be doing that in a second and we'll come back to it okay so we've just topped off that um, casserole just covered the beef completely with some boiled water from the kettle and um, I'm going to put the lid back on that's now going to go in a moderate oven for another couple of hours and then uh, we'll come back. You can check every so often, you don't want it to boil dry. It shouldn't do with a lid on, but you want a nice, thick, rich gravy at the end, or thick-ish, you know, you want to be able to dip some bread in it and munch it. Here we are. How good does that look? Rice, garlic bread, stefado, yamas. Let's give it a go. You've got to try this. You have got to try this. Believe me. Good. Thanks for watching.